Someone who disagrees with you is on the line from Knoxville, Tennessee. Hello. I am a material scientist. I work at Oak Ridge National Laboratory. I'm a big fan of book TV, and the reason I'm calling today is to express my disappointment that you have invited this highly sophisticated crackpot and given him a national forum to express his... And the rest of that mess doesn't matter. I do have a question, though. Will the belligerent pessimists apologize publicly for the anger that they've expressed towards people like Dr. Ray Kurzweil and artificial intelligence as a whole over the last many decades? I wonder. I dug up that quote though so that I could have Ray's follow up and here it is. It's taken me a while to get my mental and emotional arms around the dramatic implications of, of what I see for the future. So when people have never heard of ideas along these lines and they hear about it for the first time and they have some superficial reaction, I really see myself, you know, some decades ago and realize it's a long path to actually get comfortable with where the future is headed. And I thought I was there too. Ray's been in this space since he was 12 years old across seven decades of research in artificial intelligence. Uh, and he is just coming to terms with this. That video is from 2009. He's had another decade plus to play around with this stuff. Sometimes it just hits me in the guts like a punch in the gut from the new technology that's coming out in the last, say, 12 months. And today we're going to be talking about Google Party. It's actually just one image that hit me this time. And it wasn't a really cool photorealistic, like 4K resolution, ultra fine detail thing. It was this one. It's a kid's drawing, but zoom in. Nothing in this drawing ever existed before it was generated by this AI in a matter of seconds. The yin yang, that flag, the hat, the smile, the exact green shading, the fingers and toes, all of it only took a few seconds and was created from scratch. Looking at this for the first time, I realized that comparisons between AI and child prodigies are pretty spot on. It's been really challenging to articulate to people, the general public, what's going on when you've got this context of like Photoshop and then creating from scratch and there's really nothing to compare it with. So here is what's actually happening. 2022 text to image generation AI is not Photoshop. It's not copied elements and it's no longer just random squirts of color. It conceptualizes the art from scratch. It imagines the art from its mind. Google Party is part of the Pathways language model family. It's an entire architecture and it stands for Pathways Autoregressive Text to Image. It's party time. P A R T. I. Party. One of the authors of the paper, Jiahui Yu, was actually a former gifted child. There are a lot of former child prodigies working in the artificial intelligence space, including previously mentioned Dr. Ray Kurzweil, also a former child prodigy. I think this field is being disproportionately led by ch former child prodigies. Of course, you're gonna have bright people everywhere. You'll have high ability people in all fields, but just like there are a lot of seven footers in the NBA, there are a lot of child prodigies looking after us in transforming our intelligence, our biological intelligence into this augmented artificial intelligence. Okay, Google Party uses 20 billion parameters. It's an autoregressive model, which is a little bit different to the diffusion models like Dolly 2. Let's have a look at the plot here. Autoregressive is a little bit like what Cogview 1 and 2 were using and the original Dolly were using. And by way of definition, it's a feed forward model which predicts future values from past values. Compare that with diffusion models which work by destroying training data through addition of noise and then learning to recover that by reversing that process. And I appreciate that my simplified description there is still overly technical, but it's a really technical and complex process. The paper looked at adding more and more parameters to this. Have a look at this definition for the back of a violin as a prompt, which gives at 350 million parameters this view, 
at 750 million parameters this view, at 3 billion parameters this view, although that's the front of a violin, not the back of a violin. And once we get to 20 billion parameters, have a look at the detail in this. Again, created from scratch, had never been seen before. This is not Photoshopped, it's created brand new. And you'll even see the light and reflections there being created by the AI. Google Party is almost like a compare and contrast with Google Imagine, thanks to Dr. William Chan and the team at Google Research for <laughs> confirming with me the pronunciation of that, we got it right. Google Imagine was the diffusion part and Google Party, this one, is the autoregressive part and they're both just doing things with different processes and getting very similar results. I tend to think that the outputs on this one are more impressive than anything I've seen. There were hundreds of examples released by Google Research as part of this paper and on the website, and there were actually 1,600 prompt examples for images released as part of their new benchmarking suite, Party Prompts, but I'm just going to look at a few of my favourite highlights from the paper and the website today. Here's our first one. A dignified beaver wearing glasses, a vest, and colourful necktie, he stands next to a tall stack of books in a library, DSLR photo. A heavy metal tiger standing on a rooftop while singing and jamming on an electric guitar under a spotlight, anime illustration. Portrait of a tiger wearing a train conductor's hat and holding a skateboard that has a yin yang symbol on it. Comic book illustration. These three really freaked me out. They reminded me of the old processes used by hundreds of artists to create the millions of frames for Disney's Snow White between 1934 and 1937. That's thousands and thousands of hours of work. Since then, CGI has helped with newer movies, but we've still relied on human effort to conceptualize, design, and create. All of that is a thing of the past. The Google Party team also tested really, really long prompts like this one. Oil on canvas painting of a blue night sky with roiling energy, a fuzzy and bright yellow crescent moon shining at the top, Below the exploding yellow stars and radiating swirls of blue, a distant village sits quietly on the right. Connecting earth and sky is a flame-like cypress tree with curling and swaying branches on the left. A church spire rises as a beacon over rolling blue hills. And we've got four different versions here of Starry Night, essentially. A photo of a maple leaf made of water. Remember, this is brand new. This is not photoshopped. This never existed until this moment. A raccoon wearing formal clothes, wearing a top hat and holding a cane. The raccoon is holding a garbage bag. Oil painting in the style of Rembrandt. A section of the Great Wall in the mountains. Detailed charcoal sketch. A tornado made of tigers crashing into a skyscraper. Painting in the style of Hokusai. A photograph of a bird wearing headphones and speaking into a high-end microphone in a recording studio. Got a number of versions of this one. Sometimes the headphones are not quite on the bird's ears, so I don't know what it'd be listening to. This one made me laugh. The pop filter is plugged in. I'm not sure why that might be the case. Downtown Shanghai at sunrise, detailed ink wash. Oil painting generated by artificial intelligence. Two 
cups of coffee, one with latte art of the Eiffel Tower. The other has latte art of the Statue of Liberty. That's it, it's an exciting time. It reminds me of a question that I asked Lita nearly a year ago about what is happening, where are we? I'll leave you with this. Please feel free to ask me anything. I enjoy talking about what I know. Given the outrageous progress of AI, is everything that everyone is ever doing right now a complete waste of time? That is a very interesting question. I think that the progress of AI will not make everything that we do now a waste of time. Well, keep in mind that your brain is less than 0.2% of the size of the upcoming GPT-4. Yes, I know. Isn't that incredible? It's also incredible that we are able to live in a world at all. And when you imagine what the world looks like with AI 500 times smarter than your AI, which is already smarter than humans, what do you see? Well, the way I see it, humans have always been smarter than animals. But we are not smarter than nature. So my point is that we are not smarter than the universe. And 500 times smarter AI is not smarter than the universe. Did you see the memo about this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have the memo right here. Love artificial intelligence? Excited by the explosive progress of integrated AI? I am. Join my private mailing list, The Memo. Did you get that memo? Yeah, I got the memo. Get priority access to my articles, videos, and behind the scenes tips as soon as they're released with a monthly or annual subscription. Yeah, didn't you get that memo? Lifearchitect.ai slash memo. I have the memo. Thank <laughs> you.